With that being said, speaking of yesterday's episode, we have an extension here of that interview with Vice President Kamala Harris and MSNBC host and anchor Chuck Todd, where he questions her regarding the U.S.-Mexico border and the illegal immigration that's been going on ever since they've taken office. Her response to all this is baffling, folks. She says that the border is secure, not once, but in the same interview, like seconds after, doubles down and says that it's secure. It is It is literally a sight to behold, folks. I want to make sure I play the interview for you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the tape with Kamala Harris being interviewed on Meet the Press. Uh, final topic here. Since uh, we're here in Texas, I want to ask you about the border. Would you call the border secure? I think that there is no question that we have to do what the president and I asked Congress to do. Is the first request we make, pass a bill to create a pathway to citizenship. The border is secure. But what? What? You can't make this up, folks. Talk about gaslighting. The border's secure. You have over 2 million people coming across the border since they've been president. You have over a million gotaways alone, of which that's people we don't know about. The 2 million we know about. The over a million, we don't know those people. Okay, so this whole idea that it's secure is crazy. You got sex offenders coming through. You got murderers. You got violent gang members. You got sex traffickers, MS-13 gang members, the drug cartel, fentanyl problem that's now targeting our children. Terrorists coming across the border as well. That was covered by Brett Breyer of Fox News and had Alejandro Mayorkas, the DHS secretary, on the whole debacle, of which he hasn't solved that either. I mean, the whole charades that is going on by this administration and the illegal immigration that's taking place is crazy. And now they're gaslighting you by saying the border is secure. Remember, Kareem Jean-Pierre literally gaslit us the other week and said that illegal immigrants were not walking across the border. You can't make this up. This administration... It's crazy, folks. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We also have a broken immigration system, in particular over the last four years before we came in, and it needs to be fixed. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. But there are still a lot of problems that we are trying to fix, given the deterioration that happened over the last four years. We also have to put in place a, 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 a law and a plan for a pathway for citizenship for the millions of people who are here and are prepared to do what is legally required to gain citizenship. We don't have that in place because people are playing politics in a state like this and in Congress on, by the way, you want to talk about bipartisanship on an issue that at one time was a bipartisan issue, both in terms of Republican senators and, and even presidents. Right now, our inf one of our inflationary problems is we don't have enough labor, particularly yeah, in the service right. economy. You're right just it's just it's so freaking remarkable to me that she just gets away with all this at least chuck todd followed up with the whole two million immigrants and that oh, are you so sure that the border's secure obviously she doubled down there but it's remarkable i don't know if you caught that one she blamed congress right and then two she blamed the trump administration twice she blamed him because she kept talking about the previous four years what was astonishing i don't know if you caught it as well is she talked about oh well the millions of people that are here now I meaning the people that are here illegally are prepared to do what they need in order to get citizenship so they come across illegally break the law but now they're prepared to follow the rules and regulations and the laws that we have in place in order to become u.s citizens but they didn't want you before so now we're just going to sit there and and, and help them and, and ease them along the process while other people are following the law doing the task paying all the money that they need to do to come here legally yeah screw them but the ones that came here legally let's give them priority and help them become citizens in, in, in place of all those other people just what a remarkable statement this woman is pushing. The gaslight is taking place from this administration. And if you recall, I mean, she sucked at her job even before. We did a whole segment on her on NBC being interviewed about the border prior in 2021. And this is how that one went. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. 
And I, I mean, I don't, no, I don't understand. She sucks at interviews, folks. She just sucks at her job in general. Remember, she was put in place to handle all this thing. She was called the border czar for the last year and a half. And she she flew over the border, if you recall. She was handing out cookies with her face on it to people. She was like El Salvador and like Honduras and like talked to people and was like, ah, don't come. Don't come. As if that worked. I mean, literally, they were coming across the border with Biden Harris shirts. And they're like, oh, well, they're not coming across. Now this is happening. So now they can't hide it. Now they're being called out by their own people, the ones that were rubbing their shoulders for years. And now they're going to come out and blame the previous administration. They're going to blame Arizona and Texas for busing people to sanctuary cities, which we'll get to in the last segment of today's episode. Astonishing. I want to know what you think about all this because you have her gaslighting everybody. You have the president gaslighting everybody. You have Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Karine Jean-Pierre, her predecessor, Jen Psaki, everybody gaslighting freaking everybody as if it's not even happening. Now they're being called out and telling you that the border is secure. What I mean, you literally just can't make this up. You, you honest to God can't. Even if you tried to script it, you wouldn't. It's the best reality TV you've ever seen in your life, except it just has massive ram ramifications for Americans here. To put the blame on Congress is baffling because, yeah, there is some blame to be done there, but most of the blame is on the executive branch for which it's their job to execute the laws that are on the books of which Congress did pass, but they don't want to do it. If anything, they removed Trump's policies of the border, removed the regulations, got rid of Title 42, of which Karine Jean-Pierre says it's still in place. I can go on for freaking hours about this. It's head spinning. It's mind boggling, but it's not going to change. The border is not going to change in the next couple of years. You're going to have more millions of people in the next two years, four to six million people come across the border illegally, which is just going to increase the 22 million people that we already have here illegally. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.